Hi, my name is Wafinyo Anyasa, Project C Africa, actually here in Kenya. This is the first clip after a very, very long time, owing to a few things that, you know, we we're trying to look out at, you know, analyze right here in our country. Now, probably some of you don't know what Project C is. It's a project of stop exporting evil. And that's just it. Sadly, in Africa, we have been taking in doses from the West like crazy. One of those is, of course, abortion. We have a lot of people on the ground, thanks to Theresa May, the UK, and all that, who are here teaching women that their, they, that they, their bodies is, is their right to actually dis, destroy a life as long as it's in their wombs. And one of the reasons this is quickly happening is one, because of ignorance. People are not taking time to do research. People have also defined nature and think, you know, this is the way to go. So one way that they're actually pumping this is through over-sexualized kind of commercials, music videos, and you know, slowly by slowly brainwashing our people to think that you know, sex calls it all, you know? And sadly, we've got young people who are engaging in all these sexual activities. What is their agenda? Of course, if they engage in sexual activities, they will uh, result into unwanted pregnancy, which I have never understood really. What is unwanted? You may not want it, but the creator knew and endorsed that you know that conception must come to place. So all these things are so well engineered by the West. Who are here in the, currently, uh, in the country currently, namely marriage stops, IPPF have also set office here, IPAS have also set up office here. What am I calling out for? I'm calling out for people to wake up. Because if we do not wake up, we will wake up to the worst nightmare ever. Rope versus weight in the U.S., for example, is one of those nightmares that has woken people up to the realities of abortion. People do not know the extensive procedures that are carried out, the brutal, harsh procedures that are carried out during these procedures. See, if the only way, if, if abortion would actually get a child out, put the baby in an incubator, then it would make sense, you know? But here, we talk about dismembering, killing, poisoning. It's just a brutal way. People often react when they see road accidents or terrorism and, oh, they've got that fear. But they never, owing oh, maybe to the fact that they really don't know what's happening in the womb during abortion, but they never give attention to that. Folks, it's more brutal. It's, wor it's, it's terrible. It's nothing to write home about. It has pain, you know, like, like when I, I read about the saline abortion, what it does, it causes seizures. It's a poison that goes to burn the skin of, of an unborn baby and it causes seizures and the child dies <laughs> having these seizures. You know what the Bible says? And I believe in the word. It says, Abel, when, when Cain killed Abel, his blood was calling out. And their blood is calling out right now. Every single day, women think it's their right, it's their body, their right, it's their right to amputate their arms if they want to. If, if they really wanted to plaque out their eyes, I would also take them to hospital because they've made a choice over their bodies. But when a choice is made over an innocent life in the womb to destroy, where is choice really? Where is choice? If that one doesn't have a choice, then nobody has a choice. And that we stop pretending when we hear about euthanasia, we hear about pedophilia, all that started somewhere. Violence in the womb has opened the world to the worst kind of violence ever. So we've had Mary Stops, for example, even running ads here in Kenya. The KFCB, thanks to Ezekiel Moto once again. Thank you, Saul, for being that person who's able to stand out and speak against these things. Ezekiel Moto came out and said, you know what? We are not going to have this. So it was banned. But as we speak, those ads are still running. They are defying that. I know the state of the nation is such that impunity calls the day. is actually the order of the day. But where are the parents whose children are listening to these stations? This particular station, by the way, let me add, is actually owned 
by, uh, by, by these people who are not really uh, on delivering quality content. One of their presenters at one point was actually uh, called off and that station or that show was actually called off because of the content that they were displaying. They were just throwing out of people, mostly over sexualized content. No wonder Mary Stop Stop chose them. When you go to now the main station that is really talking about these things, the age bracket again is the youth bracket that they're targeting, the 18 to 35, and they're lying to them and they really misconstrued the ad as an infomercial and by the time somebody's calling them, they're thinking they're getting a certain type of help, but it's actually just abortion. Who doesn't know what marriage stops? They fish their money out of innocent blood. And young people, young women, let me just talk to women right now. We have been endowed with the most natural, beautiful biological autonomy, naturally speaking, to bear children as well. And I know there are people who would be up in arms with me. What do you mean I was not created for this? And that's the, the, the lie. That is the lie that has been fed to women in the name of feminism. True feminism nurtures its whole ability. We have the ability, that's why you were given a uterus, to be able to nurture. And even if you say that you probably weren't ready for a pregnancy, your body was ready for it. And the body prepares itself. And the body starts releasing the right hormones to balance that. It's telling you we are in charge. Hormones are telling you we're working together. The mind, the brain, everything is functioning together. Because it knows it's been endowed with that natural ability. So don't be lying to you. You're stronger than you think. You're stronger than what they try to tell you. Abortion is the worst process ever. According to any human being. And for every blood, African women and men. Because men are paying for these abortions. For every single drop of blood. We shall pay. And we shall pay dearly. So I'm calling people to wake up and start speaking. It's very sad to know that Mary Stops is now located near churches. A church is having a, a, a service on this side. It's just, it's just ridiculous, right? It has a service there and an abortion clinic is right there and they will do nothing about it. Christianity sometimes just baffles me. How do you have that? Yet the scripture says clearly that you should fight for the weak. It's not like people don't know what a marriage stops does, even young babies know. I'm just calling for people to stop being proactive, to stand for something. If you do not stand for something, you stand for everything. The fact that you're not able to voice, lend a voice for the unborn, means you're actually lending a voice for the pro-abortions. Kenya is not going to take Teresa's May filthy money. I wish she could be watching this. Take your money and do something else productive get 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 a nose job you know you've got so much wrinkles do something to your face do something to your life but you come to destroy the seed of africa theresa may really really we don't want your money we don't want your filthy stinking money and i'm praying for a day and i believe that we will approach marriage stops for greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world if you are with me on this one Please let's rally together. Speak up for the unborn. Let's come against all these ads that are running. Let's start by signing petitions. Petitions already out. Sign the petitions. Speak up. Pro-lifers, work together. Stop working, working like you are so independent. This is not a you project. It's not a me project. It's the human race project. It's the humanity project. So let's stop being selfish and let's come together to bring peace in the womb. Mother Teresa said it and I want to end it with this one. If there is no peace in the womb, there cannot be peace in the world.